Okay, hi. Right. This is uh, underneath the shower seat. I've got the sides and the back cutting in, in place. And next, I'll be doing my lid, the bottom side of the shower seat here. You can see I have it all water sealed. Um, so what I like doing um, when you're doing something like this, you could be running base or crown in a bedroom, living room, um, or something as simple as this. What I like to do is I like to draw a rough diagram of it. Okay, so this represents the underside that I'm going to do. I've already taken the measurements. Okay, so obviously F is for the front or for the face. B is obviously for back, then left and right. Um, you know, you may want to adjust to do front and left or front and right, you know, and uh, just leave the others unmarked. I just did this just to simplify the process. Um, if you're running trim, you know, you'd want to do the same thing. Uh, and this really helps. It really speeds up the process unless you're just really dialed in and then you wouldn't even be watching this right now. <laughs> um, so I'm taking it. If you're watching this and you're still watching this, this is something you're not real familiar with. Um, so if I did it, put this in the right position, then this is just like it is under my seat. Front, back, left and right sides. And then when I go out to the saw, you want to be able to turn that around in your head as well. And know, based on this diagram, where the front, and then you can mark it on the tile as well, the same way, before you make your cut. And then there's no confusion. And I'm using a permanent marker to do this with. You can use a pencil. Um, but you need to be using some white masking tape. Um, the lid still has a tendency to want to wash off as the wet sauce cutting it. But you can do that. Um, you, you can use a pencil. Otherwise, you need a permanent marker. And even that will fade. Have it want to wash off itself. So I hope this is beneficial. Um, so that, that's actually what it would look like. Um, and again, it's facing the same way as if it was, I'm going underneath, okay? This is the, the front and the back. And uh, so the shower seat's really been fun. Um, my wife's, you know, wanting a place to store her shampoos and conditioners and body washes, you know? Instead of having them lined up around <laughs> the base of this shower, you know, they go right under the seat. And uh, these, the seat here, as far as I know, it's pretty original. Most people close off the space. They frame them in and you never see this. Um, so I'm thinking this is one of the few. I'm sure somebody else has done this as well. But this is one of the few. So, uh... The next thing I'll be working on, when I get this complete, I'll show you. I'll put it back on and show the complete, the completed um, shower seat. Now, I've done, I've cut all the parts, the sides, these tops are loose. The back is actually mounted. It's in place. This front is in place. So I'm going to do the inside. I'm going to do this outside. Then I'm going to have to do these legs here last. It's the last thing I'm going to have to going to do so I can get my proper